Pretty much every route here is a home run against something. The Y route will be a home run against every single defense in the game. And on the very first play of this game, we get an easy one play touchdown. <laughs> For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Hey Money Team, this is Mad Money Shot. Sniff the Mad Cheese has always got another tip video slash gameplay video for you guys today. Today I'm be going over what I think is probably the most explosive passing play in the game. Multiple routes that beat multiple defenses. As always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, Woo! more gameplay videos like this, more tip videos like this, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, it's going to get right into the video. The playback I'm going to be using today is the New Orleans Saints, but the formation and the play that I'm going to show you guys can be found in the Chargers, the Packers, and the Saints. The formation itself is going to be the gun tight offset tight end, but you can also find variations of this play in the gun tight. If you're in the Buccaneers playbook, you can find the exact same play, but I'll go over that more later in the video. The play that I'm going to highlight today is the PA shot seams. There's a lot of plays that you can use in similar fashion, like the Saints drive out, but this is not going to be as good as the original play. To make this play as successful as possible, you want to make sure you have your fastest or your best wide receiver at this particular spot right here. This is going to be the home run spot. The route next to him really just pulls coverage back, so you probably put your worst receiver there. I would say your second best receiver, you're probably going to want at this spot here, which is going to be a, probably the second most thrown to route other than the tight end. Now, as far as the setup goes, you're really just going to want to streak the X route and the A route. The X route is actually a very good man beating route. So if you ever want to use it for that, you can. But ultimately, this is going to be a much more explosive play if you put him on a streak. All I'm going to do is motion out this B receiver here, put the A route on a streak, put the X route on a streak. If I do this, pretty much every route here is a home run against something. The X route doesn't home run anything. It just pulls coverage back. But the Y route will be a home run against every single defense in the game if you throw the ball correctly. The A route will beat cover two man zone and cover three up the seam and the B route will be cover two man and zone. The last thing you're going to want to do is put your running back on an out route. This here, it will be just about every single defense in the game as well with the exception of maybe hard flat set to zero. But if you do that, you're just going to get the B route open that much easier on the play anyway. So on this first play, I'm not sure what the defense is. I actually think it's a cover three. You're going to see this Y route as long as I bullet and pass lead away from that cornerback. We'll get outside of even cover three plays. We'll get outside of even cover four plays. It really just depends on the throw that you make. And on the very first play of this game, we get an easy one play touchdown against a cover three match. We get a very easy one play touchdown. And that might not even be the best cover three beater on the play. You'll see on this next play, my opponent's running a cover three once again. He drops back all of his safeties. He basically you know, pulls everybody back, which a lot of people will do because this is a very explosive series of plays. But ultimately, you're going to see how the tight end might be the better option against a defense like this. As you can see, he gets right up the cover three seam for an easy one-play touchdown in a very different direction. Now, you need a fast tight end to do it, but you can see the exact same cover three match, the exact same success. And we're hitting a one-play touchdown against that defense with two different routes. Now, the most important thing about this is the actual pass that I'm throwing. I'm pass leading every time, and I'm bullet passing. That's the most important thing. You'll notice that if you mess that up, you will more than likely run into mistakes. Takes. This next play here, you can see I'm going to do the exact same thing. I have a cover three, bullet, pass lead once he gets over the top of the drop down safety. And we have another very big play. I didn't catch him run for a one play touchdown because he's not really fast enough. But you can see that the bullet pass icon came up. That's probably the most important thing because on the next play, you're going to see I don't quite get that same type of pass in and I'm going to run into problems. On this next play, we don't get a bullet pass. We accidentally do a touch pass, which is not holding the button down long enough. And you'll see, even though I pass lead at the Balls in the air too long, it doesn't nope. drop down to the bucket and it gets intercepted. So that's going to be one of the most important things when it comes to every single pass play on this formation, no matter who you're throwing to, the pass lead is going to be the most important thing. Another important thing is if you're going to throw to the Y route, you really want to throw it from the hash mark to the open side of the field. Here, I'm basically running this backwards. I'm running this from the, sh the hash mark to the short side of the field. Which basically means if I throw to the Y route, I'm probably going to be throwing it out of bounds, which is something you don't want. So if you have to flip this field, and you can't just flip the play, because if you do that, the tight end is going to be running that route. He's not fast enough to really get it done. But if you want to flip the field, all you really have to do is throw it to the running back one time. Just burn it down. Here we got a first and 10. I'm just going to throw it to the running back. He's going to catch it every single time. He's going to get open. You can see here I get way more yards than I probably should have anyway. And we flip the field. Now we're in a position where we can basically throw that wide side bomb. This play also has a lot of success against things like cover two as well. You can see here I'm in a slightly different variation, but I have that same Y route. So I'm going to go after that Y route one time. This is a cover two defense. I didn't necessarily know that pre-snap, but you can see how it goes straight 
for that opening between the cornerback and the safety. Although the safety typically will have an opportunity to make a play. I make a few guys miss and I'm getting another very easy one play touchdown with this play. Like I said, very explosive play. It's not the only route that beats cover two though. You can see my, my opponent was in a cover two container. But like I said earlier, that's not the only route that beats cover two. The B route and the A route will both beat cover two. My opponent here actually is going to be trying to use her the cover two safety, which is a mistake. But if you see right here, both the A route and the B route are going to be gone. He has to choose one of them, and it doesn't really matter which one he chooses because this is a one-play touchdown. Sure enough, I see him breaking to the B route, so I throw to the B route. And even though this isn't as fast of a receiver as the receiver would have been, I still have a very easy one-play touchdown against once again, which is essentially a cover two. It's a cover six, but half a cover six is cover two and i basically attack the cover six cover two side so while i do agree his usering wasn't really on point you can see against the computer it's going to be the exact same effect the b route gets outside of the cover two just have to bullet and pass lead away from the safety uh the tight end will get uh, you know inside the cover two safety all you really have to do once again bullet and pass lead away from the cover two safety to the inside even with Tyron Matthew, the best strong safety in the game. And then at the end of the day, the Y route will, like I said, beat every single defense in the game. The Y route is probably the least explosive, though, as you can see. The safety typically is over the top to try to basically save a touchdown. It will also have success against cover two man, which is a defense that I really didn't get any gameplay time with because a lot of people don't really run cover two man that much. The reason this play works so well against cover two man is because when you motion out this receiver, you notice the cornerback drops down to essentially press the receiver. This route will just run straight around that press. You'll see that it instantly gets open and all I gotta do is throw another bullet pass lead away from the safety and it's another very easy play against cover two man. The tight end and the Y route will get open once again. The tight end's a little bit more based off of who's running the play, but ultimately the Y route is a guarantee. As you'll see right here, he beats his man outside very easily. So all the same routes will have success regardless of cover two man or zone. It's also a very good cover four quarters play, which I also didn't get any gameplay footage of showing, but ultimately at the end of the day, it's gonna be the exact same thing. The Y route beats just about every single defense in the game. As quarters coverage is a lot like man coverage at the end of the day. Now, if you don't have the gun tight offset TE, but you have the gun tight, there are a couple of plays you can use in its replacement. Plays like the drive corner, plays like the seams. Uh, basically, the drive, this play is split into two plays. The drive corner is the one side, the seams is the other side. You can see that the route that this play is running in the seams is not the same route. The Y route does not break at the same distance. This will get covered by most defenses. So if you're using this particular play, it's really just gonna be for the tight end side, which is essentially a route and the b route which is still very successful against a lot of different defenses but ultimately the best part of this play is going to be found in the drive corner this particular play right here you can see all you have to do is streak the x route and the y route is still breaking at that angle the A and the B route are very good man beaters. They're also get open against a lot of different zone coverages, but ultimately you have some really good options for checkdowns on this particular play, throwing over the middle. The most important route though on this play, as far as differences, would probably be what the running back is running, what is essentially called a table route. That table route will get open against just about every single defense in the game other than hard flats. I still like to make this motion just to essentially, you know, make it look like the same play, but you don't really have to. Ultimately, the running back, though, will be a very good catch and run against most man and zone plays. As you can see right here, he's wide open in the flats, and I get a very big play. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, more game plays, more pass plays, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.